all right guys thank you so much for clicking on this video so in today's video i will show you guys how you can change the domain and email address of your themes channel so the first thing which i want to make clear is like the teams and the teams channel which you see in your teams application it is nothing but uh, office 365 group which is created at the back end and there is one email address which has been assigned to that office 365 group which is associated with the teams so that is the email address you use to send the emails through the channel so i'm going to show you like where you can find it and how you can change it so please look on the screen so uh, we will be going to the teams group and here like if you click on active teams and groups under this you will find all the unified groups which is there in your organization but the groups which is associated with the teams will be having a teams icon under the column team status as you can see over here there is a teams icon so which means this groups which is there these groups are associated with the teams and these are only the team side and channels where the email address has been used. So if my group says, like my team site says new group one, under this there is a channel which will be using this email address. As you can see here in my case, it's new group one at the rate kanto.onmicrosoft.com. So like for example, if you're adding a new domain into your tenant and you want to use that domain for this channel, and most of the time this has used for like the organization who are acquiring new companies like for example if you are using your abc.com and you have acquired xyz.com so if you want to use now xyz.com in your domain name and you have to give over abc.com so you need to update and change your email addresses so at that point of time it is needed so what you have to simply do is like you have to go into the group click on add it over here all right, and as in my scenario, my new domain is montauk.co.in. So I will be adding it as test one. So for this, you have to just add a new alias and click on add with the new domain. So this email address has been already used. So let's use another one. So test three, because I have used test one and test two. So as you can see, a new alias has been added to my unified group for this group name, new group one. So I will just click on save changes. So by this, I have added one more aliases, alias to my group. Now I have to change that alias as primary. So as you can see, you have three dots here. You can click on change to primary email. And once you change it, you can save it. So it will just make that new alias as your primary email address for your teams group. So now if you go back to your teams and you if you go into this channel, you will find that uh, the new email address has, address has been visible over there. But it will not show you this as test three. It will just show you at monthawk.co.in. The domain will get changed if you just click on get email address under teams. Okay, so I hope so this video is very clear, short and simple. If you have any doubts or any concerns, please leave comments for me. And also if you would like to uh get new videos on whatever topics you want you can leave that uh, under the comments like on this topic you want to know and whatever your query is so i will try my best to create videos on those topics thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have liked it please do like and subscribe thank you so much for watching my channel